My entire life, um, when you would call 911, it was always a response. Uh, you know, always, you know, firefighters, paramedics, you know, or some type of emergency response. Grew up with 911. That was always the go to. I did not think it was possible for that emergency service line uh, to basically be blocked in a way to uh, have it run through another chain of command to stop any type of response. I absolutely did not think that was possible. I'm sure there's protocols and procedures in place. Um, it, it's just very, very strange. Now, if somebody's doing a false call, um, normally I would I would expect law enforcement to come out, arrest that person, ticket that person, cite that person. Um, that's what I would, it would expect to happen, not to just not respond at all. Hundreds of calls went through 911's uh, dispatch system, uh, through the uh, San Jose PD uh, communication system, I, I believe County Com also. Um, I'm digging in a little more to see exactly how everything works, but we do have a, um, a sergeant that basically blocked the call, then a Lieutenant Sanchez that was involved, and then his feedback, as you will be able to listen to in this call, uh, is that he received marching orders from his chain of command, which was a captain and a deputy chief. So this is why now with the independent police auditor, an investigation has been launched, a complaint has been properly filed, and uh, with what I believe um, will bring in an outside investigator because there is a conflict because the deputy chief, of course, reports to the chief that is the shot caller for internal affairs. So I hope you do enjoy the video and I keep my fingers crossed that our city and our county will open up their own investigations to figure out what happened this night and why a response wasn't uh, what wasn't possible. Uh, enjoy the video. Thank you. San Jose Emergency. What are you reporting? Uh, yes. Hi. Um, I'm. I'm at City Hall up on the roof with a gentleman that, that, you know, I've been up here for a long time trying to help this man get down. Um, he's going through a meth-induced psychosis. He's mentally ill. Are, are you sending anybody out here? There's a lot of people um, that have been calling. Okay, hold on one moment. Let me just check here. I, I, I don't know why anybody's not coming out. Look, I, I haven't talked to you before, so let me just see what's happening here, just a moment. Okay, no problem at all. Hi. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm back on the phone with 911 trying to get him out here. I'm, I'm talking to the security at the... Have, have any of you tried to call? Um, what is your name? My name's Scott Largent. And I'm, I've been... Uh, how, how do you spell your last name? L-A-R-G-E-N-T. Oh, got it here, okay. And when everybody left, they left like around 7 o'clock, and this, the mental health people, the police left. He's, he's up on the ledge. I've been talking to this guy for a long, long time, and he was about ready to jump for a good amount of time. And I've calmed him down, but he's still up on top of the building. It's a 50-foot drop from the section where he's at. And, and nobody's coming out. And I don't know why the police keep driving by. Well, I know. I know. The, the sergeant's aware. We got... Um, Who, who's the sergeant? Let's see. I can find out what's going on. Hold on. I, one okay, okay, thank you. Excuse me? Yeah, they just, if they bring the fire truck with the ladder, they can get them down. Yeah, but why That's exactly, there's, there's, they've received so many calls of people calling through and it's already on the news right now. It's already on the Mercury News articles out, all this other stuff. But it's like, I don't know why they're doing this. I don't either. No, I called this once to find out what was going on and why someone was coming in the house. 
Well, supposedly there's some sergeant that knew about all this that's not allowing it to be called out. I don't know why. Something's majorly wrong with what's happened here. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's very strange, I'll tell you that. Because they, we, I mean, we've had, uh, Sean Cartwright got a hold of a bunch of elected officials, let them know, even a state senator. Okay, sir? Yes. Oh, sorry. Wait, the, sar the sergeant's going to give you a call. We'll put a call in for him to call you. Um, I, I put your cell phone number, 408-482-6475. We, we've got to wait for a sergeant to call back? Yeah, no, the sergeant's going to call you right back and explain what's going on, okay? Okay, but the, so, the, the man has been, I mean... This is really bad. Like even the security here, the people that are all out here, they're all wondering where the police is. Where where's the I paramedics? The He's ambulance. He's gonna call you, sir, and tell you what's going on. Okay. So we it, we need to get off the phone so he can call you, and it may come from a blocked number. Okay. 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 Understand my frustration. Okay. I've been up here with this man for a I long totally time. Do, okay. Sir. Okay. I, I, thank you. I get it. Okay. okay thank bye you. Bye. Something's wrong. I don't know why they're not doing it. Excuse me? Why what happened that It's just drug addiction and homelessness. And Oh yeah, or or uh, uh, e e p s or whatever, or the emergency uh, psych ward. Yeah, it's not. It's. It, okay. Okay. Thank you. So some sergeant, I was talking to the dispatch lady, he's been the one that's been blocking all of this and not allowing anybody to respond. That's what she told you? Yeah. And I'm like, well, why is that? And I kept telling her, I said, well, this is what's going on. Well, well, he's going to, you know, I just reached out to him. He's going to call you on, on your cell phone. I'm all, you know, where's the police, the firemen, the paramedics, the fancy suicidal? I'm on the roof. We can get him out here. Oh, no, no, no. He has to call you back. What the heck? I'm not even joking. So somebody in there right now, more likely, Locardo or Garcia told this sergeant, don't dispatch anybody. And this guy hasn't been doing it. But they're getting blown up with 911 calls nonstop. And even the lady here, she was shocked. Like the security lady, she goes, my God, I've been calling them too. They're not coming. Yeah, so there's some sergeant there that has the power in a way that's told all these dispatch people not to dispatch anybody. Wow. This is insane. Oh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get fired. There's going to be, this might even get rid of the mayor. We ought to make sure that we file a lot. We ought to go to the independent police auditor and everything. Yeah, no, big time. Because this is, this is shocking that they're not even, they're, they have enough power to be able to not have them come out. And then here's the thing, he's supposed to call me from some block number, he's not calling. I didn't get a call either. No, and that's the thing, he's not going to call. Wow. Dang. 
This is, this is, I have never heard of anything like this in my entire life. Anybody that's ever on something or, or like up on a building or, yeah, fucking cats in a tree, they bring the Calvary. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They want me to fall off this roof and they want this guy to jump. I mean, honest to God, I'm wondering, shit, I wonder what, maybe I, maybe I made a video about this sergeant guy. Maybe I called this guy out on his shit. No, but here's the thing. They know both of our names really well. If anything, it would be like, oh, just fucking go there and get rid of these two. Because they know. Yeah, no, that's the weird thing. But yeah, they're really, there's something weird with this sergeant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they still come out no matter what. They still... There's something weird with what's the, the sergeant. There's something... And here's the thing. I have Garcia's... Radio, like his, you know, he tried giving me his fake business card, his fake cell phone, his fake office, office number. And when I started posting all this shit about him online and just taking it to him, he then gave me his real cell number. Like the real Garcia number. I kept texting him. I kept leaving him messages. No fucking call back. Isn't that crazy? You want that number, by the way? I think I have it. I'm pretty sure. I'll text it to you. I called him out at a meeting once that was like for the supervisors and city council and him. Mm-hmm. And then, and I said, you didn't even answer. And I was trying to get through to him. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get Walking, hey, he's walking. He's walking over here. Hey, let me uh, let me buddy you back because he's walking over here. Okay. Hello. Uh, can I speak to you, uh, Mr. Largent, please? Uh, this is Scott. Hi, Scott. This is Lieutenant Sanchez. How are you? Uh, not not doing too good, Lieutenant Sanchez. No. Okay, talk to me. What's going on? Uh, I'm wondering why the police aren't out here. I'm wondering why the paramedics aren't out here. I've been up with this man that's suicidal, that's getting ready to jump off of a roof of City Hall. And, and so many people have been calling your dispatch, and they're telling me you that you're the one that's blocking all this stuff and not allowing the police to come out here not allowing uh, emergency to come out here. So what I've been instructed by my chain of command from my uh, deputy chief and my captain is uh, the male that's up there, who I'm not familiar with, uh, wants, to, wants to be up there in protest of something. He, he, he's mentally ill, he's on a meth-induced psychosis, and the guy's almost jumped off the building about 50 times. I and need, mobile, I need mobile people. Mobile crisis has Global mental crisis has been out there to talk to him already. Yeah, and they bailed out and they never show up. So can you please send out, can you please send people out here? Why are you guys not doing this? Because I, he, I'm in he, danger myself up here right now. So I'm in danger. Can you, you please send law enforcement? Can you please send the fire department? No, we're not going to do that. So let me tell you why. You, you, both you and him have chosen to go up there on your own. Okay, your, you need to dispatch. Team. You have been getting non-stop calls to your 911 thing this is already all over the news right now it's already a mercury news article it's an nbc article and it's a ktvu news article we have state senators that have been contacting we have all the board of supervisors are now starting to contact and call okay you need to do the right thing and get them out here get a response we're, out here we're, we're not going to respond out there See, we have we have been out there already. this man needs right. help right now and i need help too you need to get somebody out here Mr. Larger, we're not going to come out there. He has made his decision, so have you to go up he there. He needs if help. He to, if he, he wants to come down, 
if he wants to come down, he can come down. We've we've sent officers out there already. For six hours they were out there. We have sent mobile mental crisis out there to try to cut, get him to come down, and he is not willing to come down. He he is not committing a crime, and we are not going to take that out there. You have been called non-stop. We need help. Help. People need help. He doesn't want our help. We need help. You, you, have, you, can, you, you can climb down whenever you'd like. No, we cannot. We need help. How, how we need help get getting down? down off the building then, help. okay? We need, I, need, I need help. He's staying up here. I need help. I need help getting off the building then. How? I need help. I'm injured. I need help. I need help getting off the building. You and I both know that that's not true. I need help. So, Mr. Largent, you, you got up there. We've sent officers up there already. No, your officers there. left at 7 o'clock. They bailed out of here. I'm along with behavioral help. help with a man up on the roof. Okay? That's when your officers left and behavioral health. Yes, because he did not want to We need a response right now. You're not going to get that. Great. Well, I'm going to contact the sheriff right now and ask them to respond. You're going to get fired, bud. Your career is toast. This is another one of those videos that uh, pretty much speaks for itself. Um, you guys are realizing what's going on here. They're denying services. Uh, this man was up on that ledge for close to 13 hours. I was up there for about 12 hours with him. It was a long ordeal. We needed help. Um, you know, we needed reinforcements. And I tried to do everything I could do. And I did get that man off the ledge uh, with help from another activist. Um, this was absolutely pathetic what happened here. Uh, these calls for service, everybody that did call in, they are all recorded through the 911 system. Uh, we need a fact-finding investigation. We need to figure out why services were not provided and why um, the public was basically uh, basically blocked out and, and not allowed to call in for, uh, for a response. Thank you.